हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अनुज कुमार महेंद्रा एंड आई एम सीनियर रेसिडेंट इन जनरल मेडिसिन फ्रॉम दिल्ली एंड टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस विथ यू फ्यू क्लिनिकल पिक्चर्स फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो वीडियो को आखिरी तक देखिएगा प्लीज़ कीप वॉचिंग टिल लास्ट एंड फॉलो मी ऑन सोशल मीडिया इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक फॉर मोर अपडेट्स सो फॉर स्टेइंग कनेक्टेड ओके सो दिस इज फर्स्ट इमेज इट इज क्लॉ हैंड एज यू कैन सी दिस इज क्लॉ हैंड डिफॉर्मिटी हियर ऑन द रिस्ट देर इज फ्लैक्जन एंड मेटाकॉर्पो फेलेंजल जॉइंट अगेन हियर इट इज एक्सटेंशन देन हियर फ्लैक्जन एंड अगेन सो दिस इज क्लॉ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर क्लॉ हैंड एंड दिस इज पेस केवस पेस केवस क्लॉ फुट एज यू कैन सी दिस इज आर्चिंग एंड एट्रॉफी ऑफ muscles here because of uh, intrinsic muscles atrophy of the dorsum of the uh, sorry of the plantar aspect of the foot so this is uh, claw foot pes cavus we can call it the foot is high arched this is high arched and callosity has developed in the foot as you can see there is callosity developing now next image uh, we have this flat foot deformity this is called flat foot deformity as you can see the foot is flat there is no arching the normal arching is not here and here again also one more thing you can observe this is long feet so it is seen in marfan syndrome marfan syndrome okay and uh, flat foot deformity this is called pes planus planus means plane flat okay so this is seen in uh, in marfan you see big fingers you can observe here this happens in hands uh, the fingers of hands also and toes uh, of the uh, foot also so this is marfan syndrome pes planus then now we come to uh, this this is a picture of in poliomyelitis case there is element lesion because the anterior horn cell the polio virus uh, infect the anterior horn cell and uh, there comes the lower motor neuron palsy so is the feature goes for lower motor neuron palsy we see flaccid paralysis atrophy and fasciculation so as you can see the bulk and nutrition of the muscle is compromised thin leg very thin leg so atrophy of the muscles as you can see here right and atrophy of intrinsic muscle of feet and uh, this is seen in polio okay so now we come to this there are this is gangrene this lady developed dry gangrene in all four limbs <clears throat> dry gangrene of the digits this patient is septicemia uh, patient of uh, septicemia so she had uh, previously diabetes and uh, uh, later septicemia developed because of um, uh, uh, other reason and had gangrene of all um, in the gangrene how do you identify this is uh, like black is uh, the formation of black pigmentation because the tissue is dry and dead here because of the compromised blood supply and uh, this is peripheral gangrene okay now this comes the diabetic foot in many patients who have uncontrolled sugar we see the diabetic foot this is uh, okay this patient is regularly irregularly treated and uh, developed diabetic foot now we have another image of we have we will discuss two gout here as you can see this is a small toffee in helix this is helix and helix mein here is a lesion chronic gout then i will take you directly here as you can see this is red inflamed tender joint very swollen very tender and very red so swelling of left first metatarsophalangeal joint in acute gout this is acute gout previously we saw the chronic gout red hot swollen This is gynecomastia, which is seen in cimetidine, ketoconazole, anti-androgen therapy, isoniazide, estrogen therapy, and other things. And this is one sign of chronic liver disease also. And this is temporal arteritis, thick, tender artery, temporal arteritis. This is lepromatous leprosy, as you can see on here. And uh, this is seen in uh, this particular thing is uh, called locomotor brachialis, seen in patient of thrombotic stroke. so hope you liked it please like share and subscribe to this and other videos and stay connected i will make more videos such interesting videos and uh, thank you for connecting and subscribing and please uh, comment if you need any improvement or any other thing specifically thank you